Bochi the Rock is an anime that we can absolutely relate to. Not because I decided to label its main character with a sticker that says I can only talk to rocks, but because it's a show that perfectly imitates our own struggle with social anxiety. So how was it able to do that? Well, let's define it. Bochi the Rock is a slice of life anime that follows the story of Hitori Goto, who suffers from social anxiety. In the first few scenes of episode 1, the anime managed to establish Hitori's struggle with social phobia, and they made it so relatable that any scene from Hitori's character introduction alone may have been a perfect description for your resume. I bet this quote will get me my dream job. So why is Bochi the Rock so relatable to us anime fans? The first reason is because of Hitori's overthinking. Every punchline in this anime is a result of Hitori's overthinking as she deals with social anxiety. For example, this scene where Hitori and her bandmates were just talking about getting a part-time job to support their band. And then it resulted in Hitori overthinking that she will get fired, then go on a trial, and be sentenced to death for creeping out a customer. This type of negative thinking is true for people dealing with social anxiety. In fact, I can relate to this to a fault since there are moments in my life when making simple decisions has crippled me because I tend to overthink and most of the time it always ends in the negative thought of, I'll probably mess this up. And we see a lot of these scenes in Bochi the Rock that perfectly captures the pessimistic thoughts of people suffering from social anxiety. Here to this reaction is exaggerated, yes, but you'll be lying if said you never had any thoughts like hers. Hitori represents an anime fan's struggle to interact with society. And if you are one of the few extroverted anime fans, then call IUCN because your species are dying. The second reason why Bochi the Rock is so relatable is because of its animation. Cloverworks is a great studio and lately they have been on a roll. When it comes to Bochi the Rock, it felt like the animators were having a lot of fun and it seemed like they have the freedom to do whatever style of animation that they want. There are scenes in Bochi the Rock that look wildly different from one another because it has different animation styles. Heck, the poster alone has an entirely different vibe from what we can watch in the anime. There are animation styles where things are more realistic, sometimes dramatic, and other times it feels like I'm watching a completely different anime. This approach in animation style is actually done in Bochi the Rock to perfectly portray Hitori's overthinking whenever she deals with her social anxiety. Like the scene where Hitori failed to play in tempo with her bandmates, the anime suddenly jumped to its ending screen and the credits started rolling. I'm sure we can all relate to this. Whenever we fail at a simple task, we sometimes feel like disappearing from the world to save ourselves from the embarrassment. I mean, in my case, I remember the time when I suddenly held the book in front of the class like L because I watched too much Death Note. And in that instance, I just wanted a meter to fall and obliterate the whole classroom. And now everybody knows, which is much, much worse. Oh. Hmm. Now, the third reason why Bochi Darak is so relatable is because of its characters. Now, the plot doesn't really have anything going on. This anime instead focuses more on the characters that will help Hitori overcome her social anxiety. We have characters like Nijika, who is a very straightforward and it is the type of person who will act first before thinking. Because of this, Nijika is able to push Hitori into action that Hitori would otherwise never do, resulting in a lot of fun scenes. Ryo is an introverted and cool character that will speak whatever she has in mind. Her introverted personality is brought up to show the difference between a person who enjoys their time alone to a person who can only speak to potatoes. Ryo is overwhelmingly honest and would often say whatever she wants and this positively affected Hitori to lessen her overthinking. Kita is the complete opposite of Hitori. Kita is a cheerful character who has the most social experience in the group. But despite being the most outgoing character, Kita admits that she has no special talent and is susceptible to blunders like accidentally buying herself a bass guitar. This character has added a lot to how relatable Bochi the Rock is because they felt humane. Their interaction appears the same as any discussion you could have with your own real-life friends. And if you don't have any, I'll be your friend because I'm the friend of all I'm at, right? <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm awkward. Um, let's move on. Lastly is the humor. The only reason that you're laughing at Hitori's struggle with social anxiety is not just because of its great animation or the creepy comebacks from the supporting characters. You are able to laugh because you see yourself doing the same thing. Now, there are a lot of anime series out there that tried making a character with social anxiety that fans can relate to but ultimately miss the mark. 
that we find ourselves thinking, is this how other people see me? Oh my gosh, I'm terrible! Bochi the Rock managed to make us laugh because we already experienced Itori's suffering. You can pick any scene in Bochi the Rock and it will have you saying, Oh, that is so me! Like transforming into Godzilla and destroying the whole city because I didn't want to make a social media account. Oh, that is so me! With its animation, characters, and humor based on Hitoris overthinking, Bochi the Rock managed to be a relatable anime that is so fun to watch without insulting its socially awkward fans. But if you're more into anime with tons of original music in them, then watch my video about your boy Kong Ming. It's actually good. For now, Bochi the Rock is an anime we can absolutely relate to that you should watch. Because they made social anxiety into a cute anime girl. And it works. Twice. But how about you guys? Will you be watching Bochi the Rock? Leave it here down in the comments. For more anime and other otaku related content, then subscribe to Otaku Defined and hit that new ugly white button that YouTube designed. So ugly. Well, laters!